I'm so tap tap and let's play the next Penelope, shall we not? This is an f 0 e sort of game. And it's like a Neo... Reverse the Odyssey, like Homer's Odyssey, whatever it is. So yeah, we've got Space Greece over here. Space Ithaca, specifically. It's been 10 years since Odysseus set sail. So we're under attack. We've got some sort of weird alien dude here. That's Poseidon, apparently. He's got inappropriate space nipples over here. Cover your space nipples, P Poseidon. It's just... nobody wants to see that. Penelope over here, who definitely doesn't want to see that, with her remaining eye, is going to go chase after Odysseus for Poseidon. So yeah, the game plays a lot like a super, not super, um, like a mode 70 sort of F-Zero sort of kart racing game. So yeah, game controls are pretty simple. You can either use left and right to move left and right, or you can use the triggers. Get ready. Three. Two, one. And you just kind of constantly accelerate. So the game starts you off with a pretty easy little tutorial here. It's all action-packed because there's stuff chasing you, even though it's pretty hard to fail. I don't find either control scheme is really superior. I kind of just tend to use the analog stick. Oh, platforms. This game, I'm playing on PC. It's currently in early access, but the campaign is done. They're just working on some stuff like multiplayer, I believe, and there's some extra super hard missions they're working on. So aside from that, it's feature complete. All the main campaign stuff is done. I don't normally show off early access stuff too much, Three, but... Two. That's close enough to done for me, because I wouldn't be showing off the other stuff for the most part anyway. So you get weapons, you unlock them through the story. Oops. It's a nice dramatic hit stop there. Alright. I was talking about platforms before I got interrupted. This is on the this is the PC version of course, since it's early access. It's also coming to Wii U, and the other platforms are listed as like it says other consoles likely. So gonna guess, you know, your PlayStation 4, your Xbox One, possibly your Vita, and not much else to really go on, go for there, but uh, none of that set in stone other than Wii U I think is pretty definite. I think there was a Kickstarter for this. I, I honestly don't keep up with Kickstarters too much anymore. There's some really cool stuff on Kickstarter, but I don't like to get too involved with that. So yeah, the suitors are gross, nasty people. And they're gonna try to win our heart by racing us. That's makes perfect sense. They're very nice people, as you can see. Fortunately, you can kill them in a death race. This is exactly how the Odyssey went, by the way. Completely historically accurate. Get ready. Three, two, one. Your weapons are locked on the first lap, which is an interesting quirk. I'm not entirely sure why, but it does sort of remind me how in some racing games online people will try to like just knock people off the road freaking immediately and it's very frustrating to be on the receiving end of that, so maybe they wanted to minimize that. You can blow up the other ships, kind of like wipe out. I do think they stay dead. And there's a sort of objective marker to your first, the first place rival. This is the last lap. See, so yeah, nothing too hard yet. The game does get fairly hard fairly quickly. It's not a super easy game. Also, there's these little experience, these diamonds. Those are experience. Congratulations. <laughs> There is a non-automatic experience, like, leveling up system. You need a fair bit of experience to actually use anything, so we probably won't 
in this whole first look thing, we probably won't actually raise any of our stats. Let's go take a look at that now. We need a fair bit of experience. Oh, it keeps score through playthroughs. I did take a peek at this earlier. So yeah, still can't level up my recklessness. I love the stat names, by the way. I Once I heard recklessness, I just had to get it. It also increases your max speed, so you can boost your max speed by a little bit. There's this cool side weapon. And you can redistribute your points, too, if you want. I don't have enough to get anything yet, so it doesn't really matter. But you can do this dodge, you can get additional shields. Steering. Default zoom, which is an odd power up. Parker. Excuse me. Also, the game has a perspective shader. Let's take a look. How do I... I guess I gotta go to the exit. The thingy. Parker. I'm not a huge fan of the perspective shader because it's disorienting, but I'll show it off at least. Hey, Sirens! I'm sure you won't screw me over. That would be very out of character for you. Isn't that right, Penelope? Yes, it is. This will be great. Yes, come on. Oh, good. This is very unexpected from the Sirens. Very nice, ladies. A few lip smacking, that's just my cat grooming himself by the microphone. Get ready. Three, two, one. So yeah, the game introduces you in some of the weapons through these different missions. Here we're gonna get these mines. So you drop a mine in front of something, blow it up, and you get experience from it. And you get way more energy than what you gain from you drop it. Gain from what you drop it. Um, I can't words. You get way more energy than you lose if it's a successful attack. However, if you just spam them endlessly, of course you're just going to run out of energy. So the only objective on this map is to max your energy bar, which we just did. Alright, so this level is kind of a difficulty spike in the game, in my opinion. There we are. You can get that secret boost by pressing... I just press X, which is the dash button. Right when that blue square shrinks all the way in the middle. It's not synced to the 3, 2, 1, go. Excuse you! That's... Freaking... Uh, I'm gonna call bullshit on that. That acceleration definitely pattern just definitely does not match mine. I don't think that was legitimate gains that he was making on me. And the first rival icon is all mixed up. So yeah, I don't particularly like this race. I think part of my problem is just that there's no energy power-up things, so I have to be super conservative with my energy. But also, this red ship jerk just seems to be way too fast. It's always him, which is kind of suspicious. And... Uh, I just have major problems getting close to him, and whenever I do, I always have too low of energy to really do anything to, like, breeze past him. And his base speed is definitely as fast or faster than me. I don't see him on the stupid map. There he is! Alright. Got a straight away here. There we are. This is the last lap. Hit him. Good. I hope that all hit him, but... I'm not gonna try and kill him with the mine, I'm just gonna try to stay alive. It's entirely possible that I will hit one of my own mines. I've done that before. It happens. Not a big deal. Oh, screw you, buddy. 
Get out of here. Twenty-three is decent experience. The most I've gotten so far is forty-two, but I assume the harder ones. Massive threat detected. Oh yeah, there's boss fights. Oh, you aren't gonna play. I thought there was supposed to be a cutscene. I don't entirely know when these things fire. But I do know your basic strategy is to just rush basically directly into them and drop a bunch of mines because they heal you. I'm not sure that counts as strategy, but I mean, it's what I do. Hooray! Some minor English here. The new ability earned can now be used in every worlds. Let's see, we got plenty of experience for that. Oh! I lied about us not being able to use experience. Uh, what can we do? Agility... I do like that you can respec. I definitely prefer skill trees where you can respec. Ah, so you only get one level of each. That makes sense. Alright. We are going to take a quick peek at one of the hard maps and then... I guess I should show you. You can pick where to go, but these bonus missions are like extra super hard, you need all the weapons, and I think they're not done yet in early access. Like I said, this is early access. We're not going to do the impossible one. Probably the final boss route. So yeah, the, that was the easy one we just did. Good luck. Well, not the easy, the normal one. Hey, Minotaur! Yeah, we don't like Poseidon and his space nipples. He's a very indecent space nipple man. So yeah, we need to find Odysseus. But you're gonna challenge us to a death race. Oh. Everybody wants to race when you're in space, it's just... I don't know. Teleport system time! Get ready. Three, two, one. I have not actually used the teleport yet. Ah! It's a lot like, um... Velocity, in this case, then... Whoa! Whoop! Well, sort of like Velocity. Different control scheme, but, uh... That's pretty cool. Did I accidentally turn on the perspective shader? Yes, I did. Well, you get to see the perspective shader, shader yes. Am I... What? Am I going backwards? No, I don't think I am. Maybe the warning, they just aren't, you know, they don't have a backwards warning sign. Congratulations. Oh! Well, that was easy. Let's see how painful this race is. I'm gonna go ahead and admit, I die a lot on that second Sirens Three, race. Two, one. Is this red guy, like, the default winner? I'm tired of this red guy. I've only seen him in a couple races, but I kind of want him to perish horribly. I assume I'm supposed to teleport through the lava, maybe. Oh no you don't, red guy. This race is mine, red guy! This game is about me killing the red guy. That's, that's the entire plot of this game. Freaking red guy. I am so tired of red guy and his crap. Can I just... I'm not sure if this is actually what you're supposed to do, but it feels like you should teleport over lava instead of swimming through it. So that's what we're gonna do. That speed boost is pretty important in my opinion. It's not super hard to get once you know what you're getting. Like. If I hadn't told you, it's pretty hard to figure out unless you know there is a speed boost, which I mean, it's a kart racer, so usually there are speed boosts, but I wasn't really thinking of visual cues. It's always the 3, 2, 1, go, but you know. See, this guy was last before. I feel sorry for him. Let's kill him. I 
I can only assume this speeds me up, because it's like, it slows you down. Or it slows game time down. This is the last lap. Hmm, I wonder, are there only the four weapons? So have we gotten all the weapons here? I guess if the boss isn't too painful, I'll go ahead and show you one more level just to be sure if we have all the weapons or not. This game's pretty quick if you play right, but that, I swear, that level, that second Sirens one, I had so much trouble on it without the speed boost. I don't know if you're just intended to get the speed boost and the game's like, pfft, get good. Find quickly where to gain energy. Oh goodness, what? Interesting. Uh, this is gonna hurt. Alright. I like that. The... The strategy for the last boss won't work on this one at all. Instead, you've got to shoot it. I really like these bosses. The first one was honestly a bit too easy, because you could just run up and spam those mines. But, uh... Hmm. Gonna need that energy, buddy. Please and thank you. You don't actually gain all that much energy for each thing you pass over. Oof. There we are. Delicious energy. Alright, let's go over here. Alright, keep forgetting what buttons what. You can't shoot over the barriers. There we go! I don't mind this use of chromatic aberration. I don't usually care for it, but I think it's used reasonably enough in this game. I guess you get tons of experience for the boss kills, which makes perfect sense. What ability do we want? Unzoom the default camera. Um, I wonder, is that proper energy? Does it only do damage? Because I run out of... Oh, I can't do that one. Oops. Yeah, they do have different values. So let's be reckless and reactive. It's a very good description of me. Oh, there are new abilities. Well, we'll take a look at this first. We'll see what the harpoon does. And then we'll call it quits. Hey, buddy. Sorry. You're pretty dead. Yay, thread! Grab obstacles, enemies, and loot. Interesting. Oh, we have more buttons! I was thinking only the face buttons, but I guess there's right button and... Three, two, gonna go ahead and guess there's one. left button, too. Weapons activated. Oh. Whoa. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna turn out that perspective shader. Alright, much better. I, I appreciate what they're going for, for with that, but... Especially on this kind of map. It's pretty disorienting. Interesting. So we got a nice... We got somewhat a variety of game modes here. We got the bosses, we got the races, and we got this collectiness going on here. Let's take that. I love that egregious amount of hit stop. Very satisfying. Whee! Yoink! Yoink! Two more. I guess I don't need to boost. But I want to boost.
Oh wow, we got a lot of experience here. Come here. Who wants to die? You do! Congratulations. Huzzah. Well, that is a little peek at the next Penelope here. Three, two, Let's just see what this harpoon does to enemies. Alright, I can't use it. Yep, ah. So we've got obstacles that you have to harpoon. That's interesting. Okay, that is next Penelope. It's on Steam. Oops. You got even more tricks up your sleeve. Excellent. Um, it's on Steam, early access. It's gonna be on Wii U eventually. Presumably the other major consoles after that. Weapons activated. I think it's a pretty cool... Oh, right. What? Oh. Let me harpoon this guy and we're... Yes! That is awesome. A plus. Alright. Yeah, that's next Penelope.